certain developments concerning the Void Gate that I would discuss with everyone. Coincidentally, I'm told Yishtola will be returning shortly. I dare to hope she has made some progress in devising a way to harness the first light. Come, let us await the others in my chambers. I can't wait to scream, cause gods, oh god. Literally, oh god. <laughs> yeah. Somebody, uh... Hello, big dragon. We go from little person to big dragon. Don't forget to disable text auto advance before things kick off. Oh, right. It is disabled. Stola. Making somebody carrying a big box for uh, Mama. <laughs> It's not even voice, but okay. My apologies for the delay. Think nothing of it. I pray thou art come with glad tidings. With findings well worth many sleepless nights, I am pleased to report. You may leave it there, thank you. Uh. Eager thou, uh, eager though I am to hear the details, I must first share tidings of my own. Grave ones. Uh oh. Rion J hath sent word from the Void Gate in Mare Lamentorum. The situation is precarious. They continue to rely upon the brands to contain the forces which would otherwise flow freely into the source. Yet though these measures were sufficient to imprison a fragment of Zodiac for eons, Against our enemy's determined onslaught, they are degrading at an unsettling rate. <laughs> he awake and the he Loperits angry. are sparing no effort to... The Loperits are sparing no effort to sustain the brands, but tis only a matter of time ere they fail. They were never designed to contain a really powerful... Zodiac, this is pieces. Unless we act soon, there shall be no stopping Golbez from realizing his ambition. That Zeroma should so test the seal even when not at full strength. Tis every bit as terrible as we feared. Aye, we must needs vanquish it, to which end we require a means to pierce its dark shroud. So, did you find it? A way to bring resplendent light to bear against our foe? As a matter of fact, I have. Matoya theme. The theory was simple. We harness light from the first and channel it to the thirteenth. Such a feat would require us to manipulate vast amounts of energy, to say the least. And so I consulted Sid and his fellows, who rose to the challenge and produced bespoke devices, ether transmitters. These marvelous contraptions can be placed at locations of our choosing to facilitate the flow of ether. In other words, we can use them to create ether currents. That such a thing should be possible. Make it in flight a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> we are under a 
around where the flood of light was halted into the crystal tower. We all know from personal experience the wonders of which it is capable, wonders which suit our needs perfectly. I should mention that the structure in the Azim Step, which the Allegans built to redirect Aether, was also a source of inspiration. looking. The reuse of the Anakin Robo Ball that they gave it that bunch of Yeah. Once we have infused the crystal tower with sufficient ether, we shall send it into the rift. And the ether transmitted shall guide the energy unto the 13th, like so. Introduce the flood of light to the flood of darkness. In this way, we shall have a lance of light with which to pierce the shield of darkness. Sort of mirroring La Habrea's hammer of darkness, like a shield of light thing. Or, so I hope, no tests were performed. No tests we performed were close to the scale of what we ultimately seek to achieve. I cannot guarantee success. What do we say? I kind of like the first one better because the second one, I don't know, like it, it's not bad. I just like the first. I mean, exactly the first like one is also have always been guaranteed. But the first one does feel like we're basically saying, "What could go wrong?" True. <laughs> and it's not the first time we've had like a half-baked plan that they say, oh, it might not work. Well, that's what you could have had us headbutting things till it does. Yeah, I know. Truly an inspiration. And, and we always work. Luckily, it you always don't... works. It's a good thing you don't have anything to spare in there. <laughs> God. <laughs> so which one are we picking, yay or nay? <laughs> a or B, rather. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You want to just flip a coin? I kind of want to do the second one personally. Um, we should go with the second, second one. one, Tom. Let's go, second one. All right, second one. It would hardly be the first time we played it by ear, particularly my ears, because they're really long and fluffy. Mine are funny. <laughs> True Mine enough. Normal. Boring. True enough. But that's not a point of pride for me personally. I miss me and Paratos's banter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Science and theory aside, we need to place one or more of these transmitters in the first, I take it. A task we must entrust to you. Rest assured, I will provide you with what support I can. You want me to go say hi to Runar while I'm there? Out of zero. We're the only ones again who can get there. Um, I wish to go as well. Uh, zero. This world that you brought back from the brink, I would see it with my own eyes. Um, but how dost thou intend to make the journey? In a spirit vessel. That's how you and yours managed it, yes? Void Sent Summoning also sees the soul separated from the flesh. This separation I can do at will. The principles are similar enough. If you aren't averse to traveling with company, I should be glad to lend Zero my vessel. Void Sent, she can just hop in and out. <laughs> 
Yeah, body and soul is kind of the same thing with wood sense, so yeah. she doesn't have to worry about leaving anything behind, really. Then it's settled. I shall finish preparing the transmitters and then help Zero transfer her soul. Pray see to your own preparations, and then let us reconvene at Megaduta. You know, I never really thought about that way of her coming with us. I mean, that's how you do it. That's, in the Shatterbringer stuff, you can take Unakal High to the, to the first via vessel. But he's also disembodied because of what he is. What? So so us at, present, at present, it's the only real way to take others aside from ourselves yeah. between these two worlds. Since uh, when the Kalhai was the, technically a, uh, one of the words of Anidibus for a little while. Yeah. Indeed. He was a anyway, white. He was a white. Sean. He was uh, a black knight assassin, except for Anidibus had his wares white, because of course he did. <laughs> Ishtola will be along after she has seen to Zero's soul. Let us await her here. Apologies for the wait. Bless you. Everything went smoothly. Zero Soul is now safely within the spirit vessel. We got a pocket zero. I shall have the alchemist attend her body. <laughs> I shall have the alchemist attend her body until she returns. Oh, she. Oh, so she is leaving her body here. The vessel I place in your care, along with the transmitters and a set of garments for Zero. Oh uh, yes. Because, I've also uh... included instructions on how to operate the crystal tower, courtesy of Grahatia. Zero's gonna get you stolen. <laughs> oh boy. Which I don't really think you yeah. care. I uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you don't take your clothes with you when you die. <laughs> <laughs> While you're away, I'll join Orianji and the elaborates on the moon. They'll need help should the brands fall. A fine idea. For my part, I shall continue to coordinate our efforts while I recover from my wounds. Yeah, he did get a little fucked up. Indeed. Given the task at hand, I suggest you speak with Reen. With her power over light, she is bound to be helpful in our efforts. Really feel yeah. But ere you do that, or aught else... But er, but ere you do that, or aught else, seek out Becklug. As the first's foremost authority on soulcraft, they should be able to grant Zero a corporeal form. As I recall, the old Numa was rather fond of the Cabinet of Curiosity. So that should be your first stop. I'm not sure he wants to see us after we last spoke to him and Hildebrand was there. Oh God. That's all from me. Go forth, warrior of darkness, <laughs> and make your triumphant return to the first. I've been called that more. Well. And the Shadowbringers duty theme. My favorite duty theme in the game by a country mile. We'll be hearing a lot of Shadowbringers music for this match. <laughs> Back to the first. Alright. Right. The Novrant. What? What? Oh. Uh. What? Right. What? Uh, I'm out of gill. That's well, fine. The teleport. Yeah. <laughs> Are you uh, completely let... out? I have 400 left. Get your ass over here, Mika spent... Solwyn. I spent... <laughs> I spent most of my money on upgrading my gear from the market board. <laughs> Mika Solwyn, get your ass over here. Do you need an allowance? Mika, where no, are no, you? I'll just go hit my summoning bell. I, I'm, I'm loading! I'm on a loading screen! I'll just go hit my crystal bell when I show up and get some moolah from there, that. Mika, Mika, Mika. Stay right the fuck there. Kitty! That's a start. So you can lose 40 thrites. <laughs> What's she giving? Ah, she's giving me flowers. I've accepted. Just four thousand. Still gonna hit my summoning bell. Enough, of, enough, so she does stranded <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, I spent a good chunk of my money getting upgrades, though I still got like a hundred. I, I didn't spend a thing. Uh, except for tombstones. Oh, you just did tombstones? Just enough. Yeah, to, most uh... of my, yeah, all my tombstones went into this. Just now, so everything is over 600, at least. Let's see. 
she'll get some new gear in the dungeon. I still like this thing. I still like this thing. Though I'm dreading to find out how I'm getting the third stage of this. Ugh. I do a Hildebrand weapon. Alright, I now ha all right, I now have 88,000 I don't deal with Hildebrand, health. I deal with Godbert. I deal with freaking Godbert, and he... Well, now, know now you know these are weapons of alien origin. Congratulations. Yes, and again, the thing that he did to give me this makes it even more weird. Of course, it's... Come on, guys. Them. <laughs> he nice. sweats in them. Yes, his sweat is apparently a ethereal magnifier of some kind. I now have uh, 88,000 gil. That's better. Nice. Yeah, That's that better shit on the mortar board. Dude, you should at least be able to teleport a couple times. Run! Oh, Running. You know, it strikes me, we never actually told Reen that we'd solve the final days. <laughs> she probably felt it. Still. <laughs> Sir, backlog. Sorry about everything we've heard around. Backlog. Backlog. Sit. Baratas. Alright. What? Is that you? What brings you back across the rift? Honestly, first you ask me to extract a soul from a spirit vessel, <coughs> and then you tell me you have designed to channel light to another reflection? Wicked White is nothing ever simple with you. No. Uh, I suppose some people can't help but find themselves at the center of world-changing events. <laughs> oh, very well, if your home is in peril, then I shall do all in my power to aid you. While I tend to your companion, you should go and speak with Reen. By all accounts, she practically lives at the Hortorium these days. I will look for you there once I have finished. Oh, I wish Guy would be in this. I want her and Zero to have a goth off. <laughs> the Hortorium is uh, this place down here, all of the planets. Yeah, there you go. Who's more goth, Zero or Guy? <laughs> yeah. They're they're about the same level of goth, but they have different flavors. I wonder if Guy will even be here. Probably not. She is being gay with Rena in her own then time. They'd have to make the, because then they'd have to make the. Um, oh my kid, an optional cameo. Yeah. And it hard, it'd hardly be the biggest thing they did in response to shit done in the past. Restoring the elements to the empty may allow life to flourish there once more. All right. Voice acting. This also, did, 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 did you? Did, also, do you know that she took uh, Thanker's last name as her own? She's reading Waters now. I was aware of that. Yes. <laughs> All right. Enable text auto advance in three, three two, isn't enough to return the environment to the way it was. No, we need to gradually reintroduce life, beginning with plants. Not just any plants, though, but those that won't be a burden on a weakened land. She took me used to luck. She Oh yeah, definitely is some. Such as. We think she picked up traits from all of us. In some respect. How about hey. coffee plants? <laughs> and as a reference to the coffee biscuits. <laughs> yes, I want to choose that option. <laughs> yes, I want to choose okay, that option. Let's go. How about coffee plants? We picked it. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> if I recall correctly. 
It thrives in warm climates with cooler nights to promote growth. Didn't even process that itself. Yes. Yes, that might be suitable. <laughs> that was the correct yeah. answer. <laughs> and with a good harvest, we could set some aside for coffee biscuits. Oh god. Your next date of guy can be in the empty. Congrats. Wait, Hi. It's you. Look for a second. Yeah, it's Hi, us. you dipshit. Bye. <laughs> that wave. Hi. It seems you caught me rambling to myself. How embarrassing. Yeah, Stella does it all the time. I've been studying botany, you see. Hoping that the knowledge would help our work in the empty. Some of those side jobs. <laughs> but never mind that for now. What brings you to the Crystarium? It was Stop. my understanding that the final days were behind us. Well, you know, our world didn't say so, does it? How many times have we fucking saved it at this point? How did it ever survive without us? No. Though, to be fair, we probably reincarnated a whole bunch of times since you were You wish to combat this otherworldly threat with the power of light? Aye. You better ask in the Oracle of Light. Please, let me help. Now we're here. Though I've lost my connection to Hydaelyn, yeah, she did. I can still manipulate light to a degree. And, you know, she chose to be her own person. If there is a chance I could gone. save others with that power, then well, I have to try. During the events of Shadowbringers became her own person. I mean, she was still the Oracle of Light, she just wanted to tell you. But... Zero! Zero! Looking around with interest. Hey, back. Tis done. Zero is now with us in the flesh. So to speak. By the way, guys, this is our friend Zero. She's a voice The friend. spirit vessel I Might shall hold on to for operating the tower. This will help me to make sense of the controls, will it? Is the handwriting terrible? There's a levity in his words <laughs> that wasn't there before. It heartens me to know he is well. Yeah, Graha's a happy boy now. Yes, gone is the crystal exhaust of white I shall see to the preparations <laughs> as per his instructions. No, we can still pop that out cat. when we need to. No, he's just a nerdy cat boy. Big fat tacos. My big thanks for your help. Tacos are big. Shut up. <laughs> think nothing of it. That said, tis customary that my kind receive fitting payment for services rendered. Oh, great with void time. Yeah. <laughs> Not unlike we void sent them. Uh, In that case, you may devour sent? some of my ether. Hey, they don't do that, I don't think. Are you mad? I'll do no such thing. The very suggestion <laughs> I'm is not absurd. going to fucking eat you. <laughs> now, now, let's calm down. We all have our preferences, and I'm sure no offense was intended. <laughs> See, this is a good girl. We like a zero. She's learned the power of friendship in the I should attend to the tower now. The rest. She doesn't even want payment now. She just to wants you. to fuck off. I think Becklug just gets inc an increasing migraine every time we show up. We bring weird people with us. <laughs> and tell them to sit. Zero, was it? My name is Reen. It's a pleasure to meet you. This world isn't what I expected. While light is indeed strong here, it's not pervasive or overwhelming. Everything looks much as it does in the source. It didn't always look like that. Where do we show you? I have the warrior of darkness to thank for that. If you're interested, I would be glad to show you around. We can show you the empty and the pride crystal. Uh oh. Shadowbringers music. 
Uh, I should have bring still my favorite expansion, so I'm cool with this. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Feels bringers plus the shit. Darkness is got his PC back and wanna drag through stone blood. <laughs> so we get to this. Yeah, it definitely brought back from the kind of a little bit of map of the Stormblood was. And the Crystal Tower! The so other one! Just the paradoxical her. one! I don't think she's even seen Just the one. Just an ordinary sky. Ordinary and beautiful. Didn't used to be. Didn't used to even have a night sky. To think that after so much loss, they could reclaim this. Growing light. The irony of that Eventually, phrase in we this hope world. Maybe even the thirteenth can come back to somewhat of normalcy. Mm -hmm. You do the Shadowbringers uh, roll quest to completion, and that is the objective they set in motion. Though they admit it's a multi-generational process. The Vela has done that. When All I was right. a, when I give me just a sec. Fun fact, when I was playing a Avela, once I was here in Shadowbringers, I never left till we got to the point in the story where all the signs came back. <laughs> so returning to the source was really <laughs> weird for Avela. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, let's pause here for a second. I need to be right back. I need to hit the restroom real quick, and I also want to grab a snack. Because my breakfast is really small, and I need at least uh. a little bit. So I'll be back in a bit. Hit it. Oh, Reen. Just a little bit so proud of that little nerd moment. We're all proud of our little nerd. <laughs> our little oracle has grown up. I am, I mean, just looking at so, I'm certain that she has picked up small habits from all of us in some way. Probably. You mean like our headstrong way of dealing with things? Yeah. She's taken Pankrit's last name and still has his gunblade somewhere. Somewhere. I'm honestly surprised she never tried to check up the gunbreaker job. <laughs> I think it's a bit heavy for her, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, she just stick with the rogue. I think heavy weapons is more her, her uh, significant others thing. Oh uh, yeah, with the big hammer. <laughs> yeah. I'm still, I'm still hoping at least the guy gets like a mention. She got a mention. For us doing all the. I think she got a mention and walk when we caught up. Her during that. Alright, cool. As she mentioned that guy was doing well. Sensor of God. Oh, when we when she was passing by while we were in the first. Yeah. I don't know. I just like. See. I mean, I know they probably can because then they'd have to make the. I mean, she's the aside from ourselves, she's the only other Asian we know personally that's still standing. There are others still kind of skulking about being depressed, but. She's the only other I mean, one those... like us that turned, did not take the convocation's bullshit. At least she, she turned away from it. <laughs> I mean, all the others are reincarnated and don't have their memories anymore. I mean, I'm pretty sure well, the, except the, ones the that overlords we... that you know didn't get taken out by ourselves or Gaius or anything else. There are a couple left. I mean, like, like the uh, ones that for sure are gone. La Habre is for sure gone. Hello, uh, Amoloth got destroyed yeah, by. Galuf, uh, obviously, Elidibus, Emmett Selk. Elidibus is gone. Yeah. The vast majority Emmett of the Asian is, is gone. gone. The only ones is there's a Pasteurized still around. Obviously, there's uh, ourselves as um, the Logriff, Gaia. Oh, 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 my friends. Ah, oh, this is music. I miss Shadowbringers. I mean, I loved Endwalker uh, as well, here. but Shadowbringers was just peak 14. Yeah. 
can't wait to get I can't wait to get to here with Mystic because she still hasn't gotten oh through. Oh my her god! Blood. As Mystic is going through Shadowbringers, you need to give us a play-by-play. -play. How many times she cries? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> That number will be vast. Anyway, I've consumed some chocolate. Let's continue. Zero. Zero. Speak to us. I've heard something of your deeds here, of how the warrior of darkness fought on despite light ravaging their very being. Had I the selfsame strength of spirit, perhaps I could have done more for my world. <laughs> Bless you. No, it isn't over yet. The 13th is not beyond saving. That's why we're here. So where to? Just lead the way. Tell. We also, after this, doing the story content another day, we also have to be uh, finishing off what the Twelve are doing. Gods, yeah. Or, uh, yep, Thalia. The, the Disciples of Anar. <laughs> as we know them to be. The Watcher. Disable tax auto advance. Oh, yep. Hmm. Let's head for Nabatharang. Since Zero can't teleport to the ether right there, we should probably travel by Amaro. Herb. Oh, hey. Reese. Or Lena, rather. Reese is the other one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Reese is her, is, her is her race name in the setting. Mm -hmm. Ah. There you are. Thank goodness I'm not too late. Lena! I take it back, Lug told you why she's here? More or less. Greetings and welcome. I am Lena, captain of the guard here at the Crystarium. Zero. Is there something you require? When I learned of your plan to gather light at the Crystal Tower, I felt compelled to warn you of the potential repercussions. I know well that you would never use the tower for ill, n nor without due caution. Even so... Worried about creating sinews. I believe I understand. Ever since the Flood, light has been a source of pain and misery. Some fear is still some fear it still, no doubt. Which is to say that some would be uncomfortable at the sight of it wielded as we intend. That is your concern, is it not? Precisely. It was light that nearly consumed our world. To use the crystal tower to harness this destructive force risks turning the tower into an object of fear. You may convince the Crystarium of the necessity of your cause, but it will not be so easy to win over those outside our walls. I worry this will undermine the fragile trust that we have only begun to rebuild with some communities. They may misunderstand your intentions. Even with the Warrior of Darkness, that should hold some sway. Tell me who they are and what misunderstandings there may be. I shall allay their concerns. <laughs> All right. We'll go with her. People know us. Our presence will put them at ease. Thank you. I realize this will delay the execution of your plans, but I see no other way. So we should probably visit Fail all over here, or she will kick our asses. <laughs> As for where to begin, I dare say Yulmore would be as good a place as any. Though ours is an amicable relationship now, we were at odds for long years. <laughs> Yulmore was once ruled by a tyrant who wielded the power of light. Though he promised salvation, in truth he made slaves of his subjects and sought to destroy any who defied him. He's gone now, thankfully, and a good man named Chinuz was elected mayor. Relations between our cities have improved much since then. Even so, there's a lingering rivalry between us. 
If the Crystarium were to harness light without warning, some Yulmorans might suspect we have ulterior motives. Thus would it be prudent to give them prior notice. You explain that you seek to save the Warrior of Darkness's home, though. I should hope that they would give you their blessing. Our, well, our world and another besides. Once again, yours is a name that commands respect and trust in the domain of your former enemies, as it does in Garlemald. Eh, we have a habit of doing this in Eno and this world as well. Where else should we visit? After Yulmore, I would suggest the Raktika Greatwood. There you will find the Knights Blessed, a small collective which worships darkness, as well as the Vis, guardians of the secrets of ancient Ronka. The Vs are insular and will likely not object unless the light encroaches upon their territory. The Knights Blessed, on the other hand, would greatly benefit from your assurances that your actions will not adversely affect their lives. Not dead. People who worship darkness. Fitting for a world all but consumed by light. It practically makes zero their Jesus. <laughs> oh god. Can we not? <laughs> Very well. We will treat with the people of Yormor and the Knights Blessed. I really don't think the Fae will care much. Here, take these whisper weeds. I will let you know when, the, when all is in readiness with the tower. The Fae will all just be amused with the chaos. So, I mean, so long as we say hi. I mean... Yes, so we don't... Right then, I should tend to my own tasks. Scottish pixie so mom is gonna. Scottish pixie mom. Yeah. <laughs> Scold us. Explaining the situation to the people of the Crystarium and arranging for your transmitters to be placed here in the Batharang. And in the Batharang. We're truly grateful. Thank you, Lena. I love the Crystarium guard outfit so much. Yeah. Come, let's head to Yulmore. Hopefully Chinos will know how best to present our plan to everyone. I hope so. Onward. He said. Sort of. <laughs> Just a lot less confident. Fairly certain he's Sid Soul Shard, though. Possibly. I mean, there are various ones throughout. Good with him. <laughs> There are various soul shards throughout Shadowbringers and you can kind of identify if you peer into it. <laughs> like Mr. Redick Weapon Giver. Yep, Renault instead of Geralt. He was a very close approximation than most. Apparently, uh, he's just a consistent thing. Yep. You can't really change perfection, let's be real. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, I mean, yeah, bro. In this place, Rowena's also uh, knocking about here, isn't she? One of these. There's a Yulmore. version of her. Around Yulmore, yeah. Hey, Dulia! Dulia Chai! Big fat mama cat! Mama How cat! How are you doing? I'm gonna talk to her first. Sorry we didn't bring Alfie it's with as us. Wholesome as ever. <laughs> what if we could? Chai! Talk! Words say things. Good gods, if it isn't you! To what do we owe the pleasure? Not another world-ending threat, surely not. Surely not. Uh, not the end of yeah, your world. about that. We're planning <laughs> a great... We're planning a great undertaking that may be a concern to the people of Yomar. There's a sense of matter about which we brought the best oh, of the city's esteem. Man. I wish there was... Well, the second one's stroking his ego. I, I wish I wish there was... There was... Also, we, we know he doesn't like over of praise. That annoy them. Um, I wish there was just a third option. Sit, world's ending. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> so there's the first one. I say the first one. The second one. He doesn't like ass cases. The blood on that bump. Okay, first one. Ah, and you wish to consult with me before making your plans known to the populace. Very well. What did you have in mind? Uh, we need a big so, chunk of light to shoot at a big dark god. 
We fought this guy before, so we, we killed him. Well, he, he killed himself before, thanks to Fantaniel. But now he's back, and he's bigger, and he's meaner, and we're terrified. Help. Gathering light with the crystal tower, you say? I would be lying if I said that doesn't bring back unpleasant memories. I believe I speak for most your Morins. We can hardly blame you. We have no reason to question your motives, of course. Neither yours nor those of the Crystarium's leadership. The world engulfed in darkness, its corrupted inhabitants attempting to invade your own. It's rather a lot to process. But the desire to save one's home is something anyone can understand. I'm touched that you show such concerns for our feelings, despite the gravity of your plight. Very well. You have my support. As if there was ever any doubt. Right. Let's gather the people at once. An explanation from you ought to ensure everyone understands. Not so fast, dearest. If I were to reveal everything at this juncture, many would be deeply unsettled regardless of any assurances I offered. No, we need to first set the stage. Spread word of the Warrior of Darkness's plight, that they're on a mission to save their world as once they did ours. Once the tale is common knowledge, I shall call an assembly and explain the need to harness the power of light to a populace far more amenable to the idea. To that end, might I trouble you to speak with our citizens about your predicament? It would be more effective to hear the details from the hero themselves, more likely to inspire solidarity for your cause. Unexpectedly manipulative, Chinos. <laughs> so we appeal to the desire to aid the Warrior of Darkness to present light in a more positive, well, light. Well played, Master Chai. Hm. Well, it's a good plan. If these people trust anyone, it's us. If it's best that you do the talking, then we'll come with you. Fine by me. I'm content to observe. I can't wait till we get to the Knights Bless to see how they react to Zero. Once you have finished your rounds, I ask that you report to me. I should like to know how the people react. I just want to make Cat Dark the fitting Moon Lead Armor the way. updates. <laughs> Lead the way. We'll be right behind you. As we walk in the other direction. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be behind me, not in front of me, Green. Alright. Follow me, Zero. Zero. From that conversation alone, I could see how much the people here trust you. Thanks to Eulis and Thancred, I've grown better at recognizing it. What? You've met Thancred too? I mean, uh, right, of course you have. I don't know why I said that. Right, let's find some citizens to speak with. I suggest we start here in the canopy before heading down to the understory and then the derelicts. Look, Green, we know you missed Dad. We're trying. Traveling between worlds is very hard. Oh hey, there's the oh hey, there's some optional dialogue we can hit in the beehive. <laughs> yeah. Let's go strip club. Um, let's go to the strip. Let's take zero to the strip club. <laughs> Why are all these females clothed this way? Is oh males too. The, oh males too. They have male strippers in here. Hey, too. I remember that time oh, we had the dance here. That was a thing. That's a zero. Let's do zero first. Ah, okay, zero. Let's guess the beehive. A tavern and an extravagant one at that. But these dancers engage with the poles in such strange ways. Are they pantomiming a battle? <laughs> a soldier thrusting their spear into the ground and using it to launch themselves at an enemy, perhaps? They're thrusting their spears, all right. World's violent mm. history. Given this world's violent history, it makes sense that displays of martial prowess would become popular entertainment. Oh, Zero. My sweet, <laughs> my sweet summer child. <laughs> I think Green's a little too young to be in here. Thancred once told me that people come to these places to savor some memories and drown the others. I imagine the beehive was built primarily to help your Morns forget about Sin Eaters, even if only for a time. But now they can simply enjoy themselves. I can see the appeal, but don't worry, I know I'm still a bit too young for it. Oh god, I have something to say <laughs> about that. There's someone here we need to talk to, by the way. Like Come back. No, there's someone here we need to talk to anyway. Oh, shit. Okay. 
I just like the fact that she is aware of what a strip club is. Yeah. Well, some I imagine of the... Thancred probably told her. Glancing at I mean, some of the female dancers. She's also a teenager. She's not... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, she is like a teenager and like, I knew what a strip club was when I was 13. So hormones. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, Reen has a... Presumably has a girlfriend in the form of Gaia at this point, so... Anyway. Yeah. I used... To... Let's see, is this a man or a woman? I can't tell. It's a dude. I think man. I think man, yeah. Yeah. I used to live for the moment, not caring what might happen on the morrow. But now that we have peace, I find myself thinking about the future. I'm feeling anxious. Oh, ditto, me too. My world's ending. What? Your home is threatened with destruction? Wicked White, why are you wasting time in a drinking hall? It's not us. He comes uh, here all the time. Ah, but as I say it, I feel the sting of hypocrisy. Gods, I need to take control of my life. To face my troubles head on. The same goes for you. Yeah, I'll stop drinking. That's it. Come right. on, buddy, I'm gonna buy you another round. I'm gonna buy you another round. Uh, some things don't change. How did you live to like 100, 708 or whatever? <laughs> Push ups, sit ups, and plenty of juice. Sit ups, crunches, and plenty of milk. Alright, Saitama. No, that's, uh. I was quoting DBZ abridged. He no, was... I was quoting it. You were saying yes. something else. No, I was quoting DBZ abridged. I was There's responding. A different part of it. I was responding to that because that was a reference I understood. I don't remember that one. Pu push up, sit ups, and plenty of juice is a DBZ abridged. That's, yeah, that's from Vegeta. I, mean, I, I just yeah. wonder. And, 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 and then and then sit ups, crunches, and plenty of milk is from Goku in the hyperbolic time chamber when he's trying to get Gohan to Super Saiyan. I don't I don't remember that one, but it's been a while since I've seen it. Okay. All right, solemn soldier. Well, now the warrior of darkness and the oracle of light, both. How may I be of service? Your enemies plot to invade your world. In your tales of sin eaters ravaging countless villages, your plight feels all too familiar. <sighs> Come what may, I urge you to remain strong. You overcame the Light Wardens. You can overcome any adversity. And for what it's worth, I'm sure everyone here would be willing to help in whatever way we can. Oh, good. Good to know. The way you can help, don't freak out when the sky lights up for a minute. Yeah, please don't freak out when we kind of shoot a big beam of light into the rift. Has to hit the tower first, and then it'll go into the rift, and everyone's gonna be like, "Woo!" Did we ever do the Academia Nida dungeon with these characters? I don't think we Academia. Because I'm looking well. at my my map right now, and there's a quest called Academia Nida. I don't know. Think so I don't think we did any of the optional ones. I mean, we did some optional dungeons, just I don't remember that one. Hades are going the wrong way. Yeah. Am I going the wrong it's way? I mean, need to go down. I know I've done it as a Vela, that's yeah. why in Genesis the Academia Nida appeared. You've done everything as a Vela. Aside from get Path Zodiac because yeah, I didn't need to get do back to Academia that. Nida and I don't think we've and I don't and I don't think we've done the twinning here either. The what? The twinning, it's the one with uh We haven't done the twinning. He just doesn't know about the twinning. <laughs> Do I want to know about the twenty minutes? It's it's the one where we find out why the tower Chris the crystal tower was able to time travel. Uh, and it's kind of running amok in the basement of the tower. And it's also and it's and it's also where we uh got one of the best pieces of music in this franchise that became a meme that the developers embraced with an official dance for said meme. Now, we have characters I'm we talk to tenders. I am lost. Penny of fries. Hades is lost. I'll go get him. I if you find if you find an ether right shard, go to Night Soil Pots. I can't the use the ether shard, or I'll lose zero and rain. Right. That's the end for it. Don't mm. worry, so Mika is coming to rescue you. I would tie a rope around your waist, but then we just lose you further. Because, uh, you know. There you are. 
Now you oh, would never be able to successfully tie it around him. Like it's two opposites. I mean, you guys did tie a rope around my waist that one time, and then you, then I jumped off the, then I jumped off, then I jumped off the ship, and I saved Mika's master from drowning. Well, much like how a broken clock Indeed. is right twice a day, sometimes Thanatos does find the rope. It's just incredibly rare. <laughs> I love how that is still a running joke five years on. It's uh -huh. the right. oldest Zero. one from the campaign. We'll talk to Zero first. Right. That, that thing there is... That, big... that thing there cleaning up the debris. For a moment, I thought it might be a void scent. In case you didn't know, it's not uncommon for our kind to use statues as vessels. But I see now that it's more akin to the mechanical soldiers by the Garleans. They come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? Talos. Green. Green. When Vorthry tried to keep us out of the city, many free citizens died in the chaos. Some had no kin to inherit their wealth, and so Yormore decided to use it to help fund the reconstruction of the derelicts. It's part of a greater effort to improve the living conditions down here, which is important since there's simply not enough room for everyone in the city proper. Not really building all the ships out here, now that, you know, there's an ocean again. As of right now, they're just trying to make buildings. <clears throat> Alright. You're the warrior of darkness. I never dreamed I'd have the honor. But why are you in Yulmore, if I may ask? We need some light. Your home is in danger, and you've come seeking help. Well, if there's anything we can do for you, you need only ask. Things could be better here, of course, and we've got a long road ahead of us, but we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and yours. We'll never forget that. Damn right, you won't. You're popular. All right, now we need to run back up. Yay! Do some good, work good. to save their lives, and they actually are grateful and help us. <laughs> God is. <laughs> yeah. I've had so many times in my head thinking back to when we first got into Garlemald and the family that told us to screw off and the two sisters that died in the cold. Because they were so scared of all the propaganda that had been spread by us that they tried to raid the monsters in the cold and got munched on immediately. Yep. And all we were going to do was give them more food. Those would have been the I the one that definitely is just be less inclined to help the Garleans and more just focus on the tower, and then me and me to be the one dragging him. Much along like Kurzatan, huh? Much like I mean, and Garlemald's not that much different from Kurzatan. <laughs> it is very different from Kurzatan, except for their morals, but they are very. The, as far as the morals go. Well, it's also a shit hole right now. <laughs> So, the people are of one mind and their desire to help. Good. Good. Why, just earlier I overheard a conversation about how the Warrior of Darkness is seeking to save their home. Your tale is spreading quickly. Then the plan has unfolded precisely as you envisioned. Well, as I have foreseen. Oh. All that remains then is to assemble the citizens and explain the need to gather light. For better or worse, I'm mayor of the city. I'll do my best to win them over. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see here. I don't know if this is man or woman. Wait, aren't you? It's a child. Oh, it's a citizen. I thought I said child for a second. Oh, this guy. Who's this? I yes, you're her. The young lady who saved me from Vorthry. I'd eaten enough meal to fall under his control, but you cured me. I wouldn't be alive today if not for you. Oh, I remember you too. I'm glad to see you're doing well. <laughs> I only learned later that it was the Oracle of Light herself who saved me. It saved all of us. I didn't know I'd ever get the chance to express my gratitude. I'm sure it was nothing for someone with your power, but thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
It's been a cool minute. I don't remember him, but okay. What is this meal? People. Basically, listen, you hear me? Food made from light-tainted flesh of sin eaters, you say? I see. The more they ate, the more the light's corruption spread. Right. And because of that, they became susceptible to Vorthry's commands, as he could make the sin eaters do his bidding. Thankfully, I was able to suppress light's influence and free everyone from his control, and there don't seem to be any lingering effects. You say that as if it were some small feat. I've seen countless souls corrupted by darkness. Someone with the power to heal them would be regarded as a great figure and never know peace. My gift has been a burden. Many have suffered for it. Died for it. There were times when I wished I didn't have it. When I wanted to run away from everyone and everything. But I had friends to encourage and guide me. To help me learn not just to embrace my gift, but to take charge of my life. To change my fate. And so you did just that. The people of this world are resilient indeed. Every time she tilts her hat, she becomes a little more human. Just Waiting on Hades. Zero. That a, that a half void scent like me managed to escape the flood of darkness. For all these years, I never stopped to wonder why. To wonder if I had a greater part to play. Well, perhaps this time I took charge and considered what I might be able to do for others. The answer is here in the first. And I will find it. Ah, uh, the little girl has grown up so fast. In defiance of fate. Except. If we have no further business here, let's move on. Where to... Slip out the in Greatwood. We'll explain the situation to their leader, Runa. Cat dad. Cat dad. Also, the chief reason why you're still the ones to figure out into universal travel. <laughs> There's the big doofus. I still remember when he first popped that flower in Yushtola's direction. I thought he was he was about to ask her to marry him. <laughs> a little. I think he wanted to somehow. Or just watching him like pick pick her up and just she's like, Runa, put me down. Hello, Runa. You certainly did a lot better than Magna did. I think. <laughs> You're a sight for sore eyes, my friend. Will you be staying long in Slitherbow? In a long time since I've heard your voice, I'm probably getting it very wrong. Though having said that, I suspect this isn't just a social call. I think the top one probably means best. Yeah. If they do deserve to know so they don't get freaked out. Yes, yeah, so, so they don't panic. Hmm, when you put it that way. Very well. On behalf of my people, I would hear what you have to say. We need to channel a ton of light into the Crystal Tower. We don't want you guys to freak out. So this is the arrow, basically made of darkness. What? Your world, Master Matoya's world, is in grave danger? That's where his mind goes. <laughs> All of these slow calls are that. It's the cultural Plus thing for them, isn't it? Toya? Yeah. Yishtola. She took another name in accordance with custom when she lived among the Knights Blessed. They believe the light taints everything that it touches, even their true names. Out of respect, don't speak hers here. Yeah. 
you are Zero, yes? The one come from a world consumed by darkness. I struggle to conceive of such a place. A pitch black pall shrouds the sky, which neither the light of the sun nor the stars can pierce. It is the opposite of what you once knew here in Norvrant. That being the case, I'm sure you can relate to our situation. All too well. You have my deepest sympathies. And in order to beat back the darkness in your world, you would harness light from ours. <laughs> Tis a simple yet brilliant idea. <laughs> Only Master Matoya could have conceived of such. That Novrant is still in her thoughts. That we are still. He really wants to get back to you. So... You're not opposed to our plan. We knights blessed may place our faith in the dark, but we have never sought to force our beliefs upon others. If your deliverance lies in light, by all means avail yourselves of it. I'm surprised. From what I was told of your people, I was certain you would disapprove of our methods. Uh, do not mistake our reverence for darkness as a desire for it to be ascendant. Rather, in darkness, there is a peace that we seek to make our own through prayer and self-reflection. And while light may have wrought suffering in our world, anything in excess can be harmful. Even darkness, as you and yours know all too well. It is the wielder who is righteous or evil, not the weapon. If you would wield light for a noble cause, then who are we to deny you? An easy thing for me to say, now that night has been restored to our world, perhaps. <laughs> Nevertheless, I wish you the best in your fight, Zero. May the light shine your way in the darkness. <laughs> it's a fun thing to hear Runar say. <laughs> now then, to mark this joyous occasion, I must offer you a proper welcome to Slitherbow. You might find this interesting, Zero, if you say so. Right, let us begin with the customary greeting. I trust you remember how to announce yourself as a friend of the blessed? Uh, um... Our character does, we don't! <laughs> it's been a while. A bit. Yeah, a little bit. The chat mode is safe. Nice. To, to offer Thank Runar a traditional greeting. Thank you, chat. <laughs> uh, same. <laughs> Runar. Alin Tuta. Alin Tuta. Knee, okay, you've got the disconnect symbol over your head. I noticed. Oh, there you go. Friends old and new, I bid you welcome to Slitherbow. Alan Tuta, what does it mean? In the language of Ronka, it is one of several ways one might say good evening. This greeting allows us to quickly discern friend from foe. A simple expression, but in a world bereft of night, words held deep meaning. They were a reminder of the world as it was, when the sun and the moon and the stars yet danced across the sky and wished one another well as the day gave way to night. A communal tradition, so the words serve to bind us. Indeed. We are no longer strangers, you and I. Next, we shall have you cleansed of lights and purities. Present to worry yourself about that. to Davith in yonder room. She does not need to worry to about that. You. No, she does not. <laughs> But still, it's customary. Just following custom. I'm sure what helps with our describing our plan is when she mentioned how in this world of darkness there are no stars. Because I think these people could covet the stars, don't they? It's the idea of there not being any is really good still. Yo, Hades, where you at? Sorry. I had to grab something just as a warning there is a thunderstorm in my area <laughs> so if I, uh, speak to zero if i magically lose power speak to zero 
That is what happened to me. Zero. <laughs> she got bucket challenged. <laughs> no sooner than I agreed to this dad that he poured a pot of water over me. I wasn't expecting a literal cleansing. You know, I did that buck that ice bucket challenge when it was still a thing. <laughs> did you have? Did not. Yeah, my high school teacher did it in the auditorium when the entire school was presented and then challenged everyone. Mm, how was it? I took it remarkably well. I guess it was cold, but I, but like, it wasn't all that bad. For one thing, it was a pretty warm day, so it was actually kind of refreshing. I do know that I heard my mom just freaking out when I poured it over my head, like, holy shit! Because, you know, I did the full dunk all at once. There was no dribble, it was all at once, and she was surprised, apparently. Oh, it's better that way. If it's dripping on you, you get colder for longer. <laughs> Indeed. And then I just crossed my arms and aggressively challenged uh, my brother, and uh, he never did it. <laughs> Anyways, Davith. There you, are. there you are. Your friend has just been cleansed. How do you feel? Old. What? What? But otherwise, no different. <laughs> I would have been surprised if you'd said otherwise. Even so, it is customary to cleanse ourselves of light with water blessed by our priests. But you have darkness again, do you not? Why continue this custom? Why, for the same reason that it was conceived. To pray for the safety of friends and visitors alike. So we pray for yours this morn. Safe travels, friend. May blessed shadow keep you. Right. If that's all, I have to turn to Runar and see if there's any other customs I must observe. I think she's less than I think impressed she's with getting this one. a little done here. Yeah. I think she yeah. was probably done when he poured water on her head somehow. Probably. I'm gonna do a thing. There's a burp. I have that too. I never got around to actually doing that. Now you can't. Hold well on. Hold well on. Oh well. Come on, Frag. I'm a phoenix. Oh, there's something. There's another mount I have as well. Hey, Thanatos. Thanatos, come over here. There's another mount I have as well. Mm -hmm. Alpha. You have a bike. I have a motorcycle with that. a burp. Yes, I did. <laughs> you bought that. <laughs> How expensive was it? I don't remember, but I saw a burb on the motorcycle, and I had to have it. <laughs> okay. It also plays Sid's theme. But mostly Alpha. Look at him, he's so cute, and he's in a he's... motorcycle! These girls are weird, Fry. <laughs> I ride around in this thing as Rose Robot. <laughs> Torpedo, Nuke, Frag, I forgot about that naming convention. <laughs> Rocket. Kyra has boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Missile, the small little baby one. I've under... Alright. I've undertaken the ritual. And... While I can't explain it, I feel more confident than I did before. Just a touch. I'm glad to hear it. With the Warrior of Darkness at your side, I have no doubt that you will save your two worlds. If we can defeat Zeromus, then I, the Source, would be safe. But nothing would change for my own world. There would just be one less void sent to struggle over scraps with the rest. Is that so? Forgive me, I spoke out of turn. It's fine. I was under no illusion. I wish it were different, of course. We're working on it. Oh. Nina? Can you hear me? Have you met with the people of Yomo and Raktika? That was a different thing, Paul yeah. Jingle. Well, yeah, because it's Whisperweed, not a Link Pearl. Ah, yes. It's nice. E excellent. Then we may proceed to the next phase of the plan without worry. Backlug has informed me that the tower is ready, so make for Nabatarang at your leisure. Hello. I've arranged for you to rendezvous with Kassad on route as well. 
Not only can he take you to the site of the flood, but he will also know where best to place the transmitters, given his familiarity with the route between the Crystarium and Amarang. He will be in Twine on business shortly, so I've asked him to wait for you there. The Twine! It's all coming together. To Twine, then. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Oh yeah. It's all coming. And then it's gonna go horribly wrong. Oh yeah, it's all gonna go wrong because it's all, all coming right. together. We're all gonna die, Frank. Oh no, we're not gonna die. I still, we're the I main still characters. love that I actually got this we, outfit. I mean, for Frank. technically, we've died once. Our heart stopped on the uh, the end of the universe. <laughs> I was fighting Zenos. We did. We yeah, were that, actually that, dead that, for that, a bit. A, de Death isn't true until the brain stops working. Clinically dead. Clinical death, it's called. We were clinically dead for a few moments. Alizé was most angry with us. <laughs> Sorry. Them we're not very happy with us. Well, no, we did come out basically a walking corpse. <laughs> Your timing couldn't be better. I've just finished up my business here. Lena's told me all. It would be my pleasure to take you to Nabatharang. As soon as the other helpers arrive, that is. They're supposed to be along any moment now. Coppers? I imagine it's the Digger people. It really is you! Yep. Ooh. Oh. Y yep. Oh no. Oh no. Cobalt. Gengen. Uh, Gengen. We understand you are faced with quite a predicament. And when an esteemed customer is in need, the merchants of Mordzuk are eager to provide. No more sausages, please. Captain. The captain bade us assist you, miss, to ensure that light is delivered to the Crystarium. Members of our guard will place transmitters in Lakeland, and the good people of Mordsuk will do likewise in the Hills of Amber. You need but focus on your own task in Abatharang. Cobalt's have weird faces when they're not obscured. Yet more people clamoring to help you. It'd almost be more surprising if they hadn't shown up. If everyone is ready, then let's get to work! Wait! Who the fuck keeps talking? Ah, there they oh, are. These guys. This world's big wedge and, uh. Yeah. Magnus. You're heading to the Bathorang and didn't think to call on us. <laughs> While most of our Talos are still in a sorry state, we've spent no effort in maintaining the trolley. We've even upgraded it, as a matter of fact. It's faster than ever and can deliver you to the Bathorang in no time at all. Because I fucking love this goddamn trolley! I think that guy train set. <laughs> After everything you've done for us, we can't just stand idly by. Thankrid would never let us hear the end of it. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I dare say we have ample help. Come, let's go and acquire our light. I think where we're going. Da 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 da. So this used to be this world's old R. Used to be. Where the flood happened. So this Where is the stopped. flood of light. And it's a flood. And this is voiced. Everything else. I yep. await a zero dialogue. I don't dialogue. remember much of the time yep. when darkness consumed the thirteenth. Oh. Three, two, just the cold go. and the emptiness. Zero? Are you all right? I haven't heard Rain's voice in so long. I... 
I'm fine. You're the one who stopped this. Well, Mentelia did. Oh, no, no. That was the first Oracle of Light, Minfilia. She's since left us, but I inherited her power and legacy. A lot of technicalities since Reen is this old shot of Minfilia. I see. Oh. Seems all different. Let's get started then, shall we? so close to this wall. Oh. The other transmitters are set. Whenever you're ready. Through this wall on many occasions. Not quite the boogeyman used to be after we tamed Eden. Killed the Asu inside it. Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna borrow this for a bit. Actually crystallized light, kind of like the mother crystal. Such radiant light. It's almost too much for one steeped in darkness like me. Yeah, she wouldn't do well in the empty, would she? Let's take all that. No, she would not. Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero. Alive. Okay. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. Euless? If this power were mine to wield... Zero. There we go. Idea for you. This is why you talk things through with your friends first. I will not succumb. Not to darkness. Not to light. Her hat's gone. Her hat is gone. It was blown off. Zero. Reckless fool of a duke. She's. She's into eager herself. to help her own world, so she saw what she thought was a chance here. Her and body struggles to contain it. And that's not a she feeling she's help. accustomed to, except for spicy food. Your part void scent light is bad. Now this ends up bouncing around, which would be weird. Interesting. Also, is it just me, or is there more color in her face? I can't really tell right now. It's green. Actually, yes, there yeah, is. There is. Zero. Are you okay? Balancing her out her <gasps> ether. Thank goodness! Uh, How do you feel? Better now, I think. What were you thinking? Then you're very, very lucky. Whatever possessed you to do that? I had to know if I could command the light. If I could change my fate. Once, I would never have dared to dream it. But your friendship and your trust Wait, he's to say friendship. has helped me to see <laughs> new possibilities in myself and everything else. Perhaps that's why, when I beheld this world once damned yet saved, I saw the potential for mine to be saved as well. To become a world where light and darkness are in harmony, and life flourishes. A world where we're not consumed by insatiable hunger, but filled with hope for what we might create together. 
If I had the strength, perhaps I could make such a dream reality. Perhaps I could awaken us from this endless nightmare. That's what possessed me. Aww. I was hoping we'd pick up her hat. You just want to steal it. If that's your heartfelt desire, then you mustn't be afraid to share it. Mm -hmm. There was a time when I lacked the courage. To voice my desires was to burden those I love. Or so I convinced myself. But then I met those who believed in me. They helped me to believe in myself. And find the strength to live. And so long as I'm alive, I know that I'll be fine. No matter how dire things seem, no matter where I am, to be able so to think just, that uh, brought me peace, and it's a blessing there. I owe entirely yeah. to my friends. Yeah, well. Those who believe in us. I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. As a friend, I'd like to help you fulfill your dream. If you wish to take in more light, I can keep the power in check and help your body you accept it. Here we go. Yeah, top one be fine. <laughs> Anyone can do it, it'd be Reen. The Oracle of Light. Alright, top on it is. Anyone can do it, it'd be Reen. So she's taking light into herself. Won't that destroy so her it would voice? Seem. Yeah. Why Reen's offering to help with that. Right then. I'm counting on you. If done right, it might actually make her not avoid then. Cure the imbalance. Maybe that gives us a clue, maybe how to fix void scent transformation. I can feel it. The light's warmth welling within me. Then I believe it worked. With this power, I will return to the void and fight for the world that once was and for those I hold dear. For those who yeah, right, lost, you will. those who can yet save, in other words. Pretty much. Well, she is a woman of likes once more, it seems. She's well on her way in that direction, at least. Claiming at least to fulfilling a similar role. Reclaiming what she once in a was, few but better. Thousand years, <laughs> I dare say in a few thousand years, that title will have a lot more meaning in the 13th. Because, like, without Hydaelyn relinquishing shards of her power to people, Warriors of Light can't really tap in anymore. Make our own. We've done our part, and I trust that the others will see the light to our destination. It's time we return to the source. I shall seek out Backlug and have them return my soul to the spirit vessel. Bum, 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 bum. I never really thought about Zero trying to absorb the light. Neither did I, it just kind of happened. An it's impulse. Really very reckless. Let's be real. Zero has always been very reckless. <laughs> this mean, was very in character for her. I mean, we did have to save her ass that one time. Yeah. Well, I suppose this is it. I don't know if you had any other preparations to attend to or people to visit, but I'll go on ahead to the ocular. We didn't say hi to fail. Oh, we are dead people. <laughs> 
I imagine that's something that we can probably roleplay uh, in our heads. We little we did. branch. They're not even bothered saying hello. No, it's fine. I've always wanted to be a bush. Why didn't bother to say hello? Such a heartless little thing. Cruel and miserable and heartless. <laughs> oh, Scottish pixel. How many times must I fucking tell you to say hello? Hi, Scottish Pixie Mom. Oh, lucky you're a thorn upon my little sapling, or I would, I would, I would turn you into a cotton ball and stuff you in your undergarments. You know, I'm a little surprised they didn't mention Hail Meg, considering how that place tends to be pretty magically. That is a new symbol. Oh, it just means you're going to a different. It, I've seen it before. It means you're going to a different. Location. Uh, okay. It's a. Uh, Still, I haven't seen it before. Transfer from one map to another. Okay. Uh, okay. I like that they've added that. That's neat. Very helpful. I came in last batch, but right, five. Back. <laughs> oh, back. I never noticed it until now. The tower stands ready to send light into the rift, and Zero Soul is secure in her vessel once more. Our helpers across the realm have also sent word that the transmitters are in place. Once the others have been set on the moon, oh, once the others have been set on the moon of Zero's world, we should have the foundation of our ethereal current. To make matters easier, the transmitters broadcast a powerful signal that can be detected by the tower even across the rift. Upon confirming that the void ones are active, we will send forth the light. The rest will be up to you. We'll be praying for your success. Now go. Make haste back to the source and save your worlds. Through the entrance, I guess. I'm just teleporting directly to Razad Han. <laughs> Razad Han! Razad Han! See you guys. Uh... Let's see you. I can do that. Let's go get... And I just go past Zero over to the others to get her into her body again. Get mom. Pick Zero for us. Flash on. Great. Hello, Flash on. Dragon. Thank, thank heavens you've returned. The operates report that the brands are on the verge of failing. We have no time to spare. I shall restore Zero to her body at once. Body might be in for a slight light base shock. <laughs> ah, she's up. Ah, that's better. Oh, yeah, turn it uh... Yeah, she's I was pale. worried. I was worried that the soul transference process might affect the light I absorbed, but it feels as potent as before. The radiance of your soul was impossibly blinding. I don't know how you would have managed without Reen's help. I wouldn't have. While Reen helped me to contain the light, it was you, all of you, who gave me the courage to even make the attempt. Your friendship, your acceptance. That includes the people of the first. The Knights Blessed in particular showed me great kindness, as did Runa, whose only regret seemed to be that you could not join us. <laughs> oh, that hit a spot. A regret we share. Ours is a reunion long overdue. If all is in readiness, then I will assume my dragon form and fly to the moon. In the meantime, pray make your way to the Drowning Brand. There we shall reconvene before sallying forth once more into the void. Lies the Moony says, NASA needs one of you. Fly me to the moon and let me... Alright. To the moon! Moon. Oh! 
I love doing that. And into Phoenix. Please tell me the Alpha Known and Alize don't see you do the I feel like they would have mixed feelings about you turning into a Phoenix likeness considering They'd considering already have mixed relations. feelings about that if you're a summoner. I mean well, I guess Louis Swag quick switch to be asked not to be summoned ever again. <laughs> but you're not summoning Louis Swa. You're Cause... manifesting the <laughs> essence of Phoenix, but you're not summoning Phoenix. I mean, us using Bahamut's that... also probably a bit of a eh as well. Yeah, you're yeah, you're summoning that's the difference between the Eggies and the actual primals. You're just summoning their essence. Alright, Zodiac. What? That's why they're only around for a bit. I'm a time to teach you this lesson, old man. Alright. Alright. Time to take the fight to the enemy, is it? The darkness has been utterly relentless, gnawing at the seal like I might an iron carrot. Strike fast and hard because you won't get another chance. As a precaution, we've further enhanced the combat supporters. You don't need to worry about us while you're away. I shall maintain my vigil over the brands. Pray see that thou art ready to depart as soon as Ritra and the others have assembled. The light shine the way to victory and deliver you all safely home. In the dungeon first. Oh dear. Dragon incoming. Dorgan. I love Rested her. and healed there, Ritra. Go get your sister back. And let this be a final end to the Asian's machinations and all the consequences of them. Indeed. Though this is still only part one of the patch, so there's stuff that's going to happen uh, after I mean, two. I the dungeon. The next part's probably going to be just. I think we're going to wrap up here. The next like... part's going to be like, oh, we're going to off to the new world now. Kind of thing. We're following up all that stuff. That are established. Zero as the new Warrior of Light of the 13th and. Maybe have some yeah, yeah. connection with the first again. Yeah. No, like we've had we've had like uh, inklings of like oh people heading out that way. I think that part two will just be following up. Like we're gonna wrap everything up here, and then next patch will be like a prologue to Dawn Shredder. Probably. Either way, here we are oh. on the moon again, the red Talk moon. To zero. The dark pall over the crater has grown thicker. On the other side lies Golbez's domain. He'll have altered the terrain to hinder us. I don't sense his presence, but I wager he is in the crater. Should be ideal if he were. I shall hurry and place the transmitters. Once they are activated, our cross-rift ethereal current will be established, and light will flow freely from the first. In theory, at least. It will work. It must. Then it wasn't even Golbez, he's the other one, Duran. Durante? Durande? Something like that? Duranze, I think. Something like that. So you think we're out of the dungeon and then the trial? So, so. Yep. Lunar, the lunar subterrane and then. Uh, and then. Durante is just wearing Golbez's armor and taking his name. All is in readiness. Without further ado, then. Light from right, beyond the rift. The Shine forth and banish the darkness. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Cool. Hit it, Catmo. Excellent. The tower is replete with light from the bath orang. It's the light show back load. Commencing transmission. <laughs> Shove it down Zodiac's throat. 
Grimace's throat. Sending it straight into the 13th to help them. May this them. light illuminate your way. It at least gives Zero the starting point. You can do it, Zero. I believe in you. We gave Rain a starting point, now it's Zero's turn. Damn right. <laughs> There's a few worlds that are remaining there as well. I say, hey, Goldas, we got a present for you. You might need some sunglasses. Fancy villain though you may be, the villain. We made a sphincter. No matter how dark it may be, light shines through. Look, Kingdom Hearts is opening. light. We made a hole. It worked. Let us waste no time and sally oh, forth. Through. So you reckon the dungeon boss will be? Alas. Durante. I fear the breach may be too narrow for you, Vritra. Don't know. And then... For a blessing, the obviously is wrong. I prepared well. my simulacrum for such an eventuality. Small Vritra come with. My true form shall stand guard here while we explore the chasm. This is a blunt. Tis faint. But I sense the presence of a dragon. No doubt my sister's essence trapped within Zeromus. So she, there is a better Not where store. she was held captive before, but somewhere much deeper. Zeromus also absorbed Golbez, the real one. The descent will not be so easy this time. The chasm swarms with void scent. Summoned by Golbez, perhaps, or born of the residual the darkness. No. However they came to be, we shall cut a path through them. Is everyone ready? Zero? Shards of light in the void. Who'd have thought? That light should shine in the void once more. You just open us the first sparks of a big inferno. Light the way. No single one of us could have made it so. Only by joining hands were we able to kindle this light. Do you see, Golbez? We needn't damn others to save ourselves. You knew this once, surely, when you tried to befriend me. When you were one of the precious few left oh, willing to trust in another. But that man is gone. And in his place, a mockery of his beliefs. It's the same as before. Though we walk different paths, we seek the same destination. And yet...
There is something I must know. A truth that lies waiting in the dark. They're quite caught on the fact that it's not Goldberg, have they? <laughs> Talk to He had the echo vision of the real Goldbez. Right. Wait for Hades to come back before we talk to Varshan, I guess. I'm sure the real Goldbez has opinions of what his uh, friend has um, done with his armor and name. And if he were alive to have opinions, I'm sure he would. As it is, he's Memoria right now. It's still. But, I mean, that Memoria also got absorbed by Zeromus, which is just a smoking Chekhov's gun of sorts, isn't it? Bears has a party yet to play. And now we're we going to dispense with Durante. Whatever his name was. Oh, there is a. I guess a slight. Like Kind of clever twist on the whole original Final Fantasy IV thing of Golbez not being the villain. <laughs> and then kept with that, just it's just not Golbez. <laughs> Wonder if he had a brother called Cecil. Hmm. All right, then. Lashan, Dobtera, down in the dark. Auto advance. Rest assured, I will not let my emotions overwhelm me. The moment comes, I will call to my sister and I will wrest her free from Zeromus. The crater awaits. We'll betide any who bar our path. She is a void sin. Oh. And so is zero. Well, zero's half one, so I'm idiot. Alright, Tom, your party leader. Sign us up. Hit it, Elf. Hitting it, human. Push kick. Oh, I'm sorry, here. I'm Thanatos. Oh, wait, I'm Thanatos. I need to say it right. <clears throat> Hit it, Night Fears. Baratos, you call me Elf plenty of times. That's what you call me more often than Knife Ears. I still <laughs> think Knife Ears is more endearing. Oh, not as endearing as your stupid face. You know, if it weren't for the fact that how you pretty much destroyed my... You pretty much destroyed the mood when we meet me. I was still going to have Cassandra at least make that joke again, just the reminder of Thanatos. Yeah, but uh, that wouldn't really feel appropriate now, would it? I'm no, sure you'll please. get a chance at some point. Yeah, upon which note, I know I've asked uh, previously, but now that uh, you've had a chance to simmer on it, Hades, what do you think of that twist with Forgal and all them? Fuck you. Okay, I mean, yes, but that doesn't tell me anything. Well, it's just... <laughs> Like, when, when I first heard that it possibly we didn't get the whole truth, I imagined either they got killed by Forgal and turned into zombies, or then Nia had to put them down. 
I was thinking. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Now you just made it ten, a um, hundred times worse by literally using the time where her soul was fighting itself through her body again and having him have that time to control her and make her shoot her own daughter and son-in-law in the face. In the face, this she That was me oh. always saying, I'm going to shoot him in the face, and she shot him in the face. Fuck you. Uh-huh. And considering you saying that the daughter looked pretty much like Mika, it was almost like shooting Mika in the face. Yeah. Because Feyen had the cat ears, I like Rosa. <laughs> it was all very, very upsetting, but I needed it to be really, really bad to justify the schism. <laughs> Well, now Rosa is no longer anxious, she's angry! <laughs> Some Mike Rosowski. Oh hey, a remix of the FF4 Baron theme. Let's do this! We have a warrior with a big shiny axe. It should make healing easier. Ah, yes, it's one, that's one of the uh, axes for doing an ultimate, themselves. isn't it? Yes. It's the Alexander ultimate, I think. I don't know. I don't know when that big eye thing used to be a really annoying boss in the world of darkness. Oh, it still is. This is a lesser version of it. I think I got some practice back into Reaper before this. Yeah, I did some practice in Ranger before this. I've been playing Dragoon and leveling up Ninja in the past. I, freaking... I will shoot the shadow at the shadow, because that makes sense. I think Elemental yeah, Affinity all, I'm okay. doing nothing but shadow to them, so. Good thing elemental affinities are working here. Yeah. I'm not gonna eat now. Yeah, because uh, I don't have Mika to nullify their shadow immunity. Yeah. This. That had the potential to screw you over so many times in campaign one. Like, it, like imagine like if you didn't give Mika that, like how annoying it would have been for Thanatos with not being able to use his strongest powers against like all the biggest enemies who were all I mean, that was the thieves. first thing we did to so Diabolus, him. wasn't it? Just to make him take shadow damage. Yeah, so I could hit him with pretty much everything I had. It's also one I mean, of the I reasons we were able to take down Tiamat. To, for that campaign. But yeah, I made it work. Yeah, I mean, you made it work. I made sure to accommodate you. I mean, our, our combination of giving... I mean, it was just the darkness and other things is how we managed to take down Tiamat the second time so easily. Watch to our DM's eternal activation. Yeah, so that's killing Tiamat the second time. We really weren't supposed to. I and mean, with such that, ease. Even, that, even in the new. Yeah, we're, we're even doing that in the current campaign, where we weren't even supposed to kill that one guy. Well, we were very determined, and it was very it. close oh. that time. Damn it, I picked up on He really wanted him dead. We did. Because he was an asshole. We did warn him what would happen if he showed his face again. We did warn him. He did That's not why he brought back up. You know, when we tell you don't let us see your face again, that doesn't mean bring back up and try again. It means don't let us see you again. I know that had a job to do, so he didn't care about your warnings. The free birds. Was the job worth his life? Probably not, but he was confident he could keep his life. Oh, number oh, one. It's the dark elf. Dark elf. Hey, there can only, oh, wow, there's only form. one group of one Dark Elf here, motherfucker, and that's me. Oh. Well, that's 
Stop, stop, simple, no? I can't remember this boss. Was this a... a... Fuck. Shadow school. Uh, stand on... Nope! Stand on opposites! Oh, opposites! Gotcha! Plus signs. Don't stand next to the person who's doing it for. He was on a delay. Damn it. What are these things? Going to be hidden. They'll go off a little later. Right where I'm standing should be safe, I think. So this is in a boss in Opposites, yes. opposites, opposite blue. All right, back to me. I remember this. Okay. It's the uh, fight where you, it's in the dungeon where you have to take off all of your metal. Oh, I remember and then, he, and then it gets weakened by Edward's harp over a whisper weed or some shit. Oh yeah, I remember, I remember that now. Yeah, that annoying fuck. I hated that. I hated that dungeon. I couldn't use anything metal, it sucked. Edge mode activating. <laughs> Maybe got it. Tank Buster. Blast arrow. Goodbye. Alright, we got. Yeah, kill before I can hit him with the moon, yeah. Casting! That's for casting. That's for Dark Knight. I'll, that's for Dark Knight, I'll take that. Use it for my Dark Knight. Hey. Aw, oh, my edge mode's gone. Oh, the Moria. Whoa. What once was? Ah! Hurry, Golbez! The city is already... Durante, indeed. Baron! The city of Baron! Yeah, that was... That's Golbez's, uh... Yes. First the villages, and now the capital. Nothing is except... Uh, that's for healers. This is Golbez's that's memory. This is Golbez's crystal we're currently in. And we're taking Golbez's role. I mean, Durante is right alongside us, but yeah. You know, we're taking Golbez's role, the real Golbez's. That's what I'm talking about. That was Golbez's crystal we just went inside, I think. Ah, okay. Which is why he's calling us Golbez. Gubbos. So do goblins have these faces underneath the masks on the source as well? Dunno. So you've done the beast tribe thing with you? Facing them? Goblins don't ever take off their masks or they would suffocate. What? Why do they can't take the air of both brands? Yes. 
like the look of this city. It's mobile. Very traditional fantasy. Hey, man. There's a man! A frenzy thing! Next, whoa, oh, hey, it's lion. dangerous. Have care, Golbez. Oh, the ant lion. There are stone pillars along the sides, they're gonna fall on our heads. You see that? You remember how you guys killed an ant lion in a single round? Yep. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. What we do? What we do? What we follow do? Anne over here. That's what I'm doing. Pushes you, you have to make sure you don't get pushed off the edge. Alright. Alright, let's see some stuff that are gonna fall. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ow, my face, you okay. dick. Heals required, actually. Alright, uh, get out. Oh god. Damn it. <laughs> I don't like this guy. He's mean. You dick. Hey, be mindful of the stone pillars. They fall. Yes, I know. I've been clubbered. I noticed. I only barely missed him because I was following the tank. Oh, no, not this shit again. Corner, corner, um, corner. Oof. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit over here in the corner. I'm fine here. I'm okay, I'm fine. Um. Uh, I need to be right about here. Me think. Oh shit! Right. Ow! I win. I win. The elf loses. I'm good. Fuck! Ow! Oh, not a toss. Run out. Ah. Prince, you chaser! Thank you, Reaper teleporting powers. I almost never use those, and yet it's so nice. I use them all the time. And go up a bit. Oh. Go again. Ah, uh, shit again. I'm going in my corner. <laughs> I gotta let's go that. Uh, uh I need to be rad. Oh wait, no 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 no. Other way, other way, other way, other way, other way, other way, other way. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Haha, okay. <laughs> not this time. No longer vulnerable. Excellent. Die. Die. Lonio. Die. Um, again. 
Oh god. No. 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 Okay, get right about. Sit! Sit! And, um. I think they can find such terrible beasts hmm. boats ill. We've no time to lose. Uh, that's uh, for our aiming. And that's for Yep, yeah, that is me better. Okay, so if you need and pass. So yeah, that was a thing. Oof, that guy's mean. That was actually a pretty cool fight. That was actually a pretty cool fight. Yeah, get more creative with the mechanics. I think not. I think not. I think yes. Thanks, Vincent. Thanks, Original Ella. What's the original about it? The early yeah, void sent. He was the first of it to die. Yeah, I mean, these are all very early void sent before the flood completed its ravaging. Wonder whereabouts in the geography of Eorzea this is. Start to guess, I would say maybe like off the coast of Vilbrin. I dare say we'll be faster if we split up. You are gonna go to so much trouble in the heat, Jeff. Oh, the so the sky just got dark. I wonder if we're reliving the battle where Gold has died. Oh, God. Turn into crystal. That would be my guess. An earring for. I need to wait then. Ah! So many. Final boss room. What are we fighting? This can't be happening. Not to you. Got void scented. That's why I sealed him. Took his armor and his name. My friend. My hero. 
I will stop you even should it cost me my life. And so did he. Turned himself into a void send. I explain why he's different from others. He did it to himself. Huh. So he turned himself into a void send, sealed away the mindless Golbez one, and then so took his name and armor. I will fight you with all my strength. Old magic is a skill. Old magic. Ailey. What? To fortify my brain. Oh. Okay. Oh, he does it in sequence. Okay. Noted. I need power. Light or dark. It matters not. Uh, big orbs. Must be uh, nasty. Yeah. Target areas. Areas. Such savagery ill suits you. Uh, I'll take here. I'll take here. Go forward. Ah, they're gonna shift. Oh, they're gonna. Oh, they're splitting apart. Interesting. Uh. Oh, lordy. Now we're All right, splitting apart here. Yeah, yeah, oh, there's yeah. more. Oh, I Nowhere! Oh, 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 that's bad! That's not good. That's very bad. Yeah, you're safe. Wait, you weren't. But we uh, were. Oh no. Hopefully our, hopefully, our, hopefully our tank can do what warriors do and... Oh yeah, dear. So. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. Oh no! Prepare yourself! The knee is a half health. Oh, what is that? What is that? It's oh, over. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That's gonna be a big bomb. Get away from that. Um, yep. Oh dear. We might be able to do this. Uh, he's got about half his health, so probably not. Death's journey. Okay. Oh, prayer. Well, the tank is doing the order too fast. There's some so defensive buffs for you. This before. Let's see how you fare now. Oh, oh. Okay, this stuff again. Mother of. Um. Um, I guess me pick the right spot. Yep. yep. Oh. I'm using potions to try and supplement my health. That's how desperate I am. Okay, so there. Oh, this is it again. So there. Right, Back up. Yep. Okay. Forward. Ah, damn it, I hit the We're doing surprisingly well, staying alive. Yeah, you are! Oh, mate! Oh, this day. Oh, Okay. Oh, side, 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 side,
Ah, just... What? I, I wasn't in that! <laughs> Fuck you, game! You were on my Larry. screen. I wasn't on mine! Oh, yeah. You were on my screen. Please, well, you're also dealing with shit internet right now, so... My yeah, it's probably lag. Fucking... Don't worry, Nate, we got this. Flee. Big impact, flee! Screw it over by the license, say! Like my screen will validate me, I will well from that. Oh, he's dead. Ten percent get ready to do the thing, Thanatos. Give me plentiful harvest. Boom! Alright, don't be on those lines. Uh Oof. Okay. Almost got him. You've weathered this before. Let's see how you fare now. Alright. Once this is done, do the thing. After this goes off, pop a limit break. Follow the tank. Tank seems to know where the safe places are. Just where those break. things aren't. <laughs> oh, what the set? Almost got him. Gluttony. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, nicely done, dude. Holy shit. From over 50. Well, fuck it. Over 50% without the other. That's why well, we love warriors. I am fucking proud of you. That was uh, that was good. I only you went down it? because of my internet. <laughs> Just to <laughs> say. Yeah, it was just the internet that fucked you. Still, yeah. you still managed to win that without a without a healer. That was very yeah. nice. Well done. I'm impressed. Genuinely, that was good. Oh. And the tanks already gone. I can't. I can't commend them. Oh, but yeah. I mean, wow. Jesus, we were on top of that. That's for you, Mika. That's healer yeah. Pants. Very well done. Okay, give me a second. Are these any better than what I'm currently wearing? They are worse. We had to just be on top of the yeah, mechanics. A few things. I got one thing. Alright, shall we? Yep. Yes.